guys didn't see y'all there. Y'all ready to do this song? Let's jump right into it. Hey, get hype, get hype! so much fun with this. Now, can you believe that we are in week five of our series of focus? Now, of course, I want you to focus in today. Here's what you're going to really remember. I want you to remember that following Jesus is going to be way better than you ever could imagine. Now, I have a question for you. How many of you like storms, like thunder, lightning? Go ahead and raise your hand. I have to say, when I was younger, I did not like storms. I would hide under my blanket, I would tremble, hold my little Barney bear, and now they're pretty cool. Are you like that? Do storms start to like make your armpits sweat and your feet stink? I know, there are a lot of things that we have no idea why they happen. Like for instance, did you know that the planet Saturn has a storm at their North Pole and it's in the shape of a hexagon? I know, that's weird. Even scientists can't even understand why. There are so many things that happen in nature that we just don't have the answers to. Like for instance, when is this pandemic going to end? I can't wait till I get to hug you guys. Or what happens when the earth is finished? It kind of makes us nervous a little bit, right? Because we don't have all the answers. But one thing that's really cool that the Bible does tell us is that when the earth is finished, we will live with God in heaven. How amazing is that? Now, what do you think you have to do to get into heaven? 
Yell it out to me. What do you think? Okay, I'm hearing be kind, be nice to people, share. All of those are really good things. Here's something really simple that all you need to do is put your trust in Jesus. That's it. It sounds really hard, but it's really easy. We have to have the faith in knowing that God has our best interest, that Jesus is walking through it with us. Think about Paul. Paul was a person who did not like Christians at all and was doing terrible things. And now he's one of his best friends. That can be you too. I want you to remember and fully focus in on the fact that all we have to do is put our trust and our faith in Jesus. Now, let's go ahead and pray out. Dear Lord, I thank you so much that we don't have to do jumps and flips and run through hula hoops and be scared to get closer to you. You call each and every one of us to be a part of your family. So I ask that you go before us and help us remember that we need to put our trust and our faith in you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, guys, I love you so much. Here's your challenge for today to go with our lesson. I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to draw what you think heaven will look like. And we're also going to be having our Zoom call, so that's going to be super fun. I want you guys to try to bring one of your friends. In fact, let's add that into your challenge. Draw a picture of what heaven feels like and bring one of your friends onto the Zoom call. Good luck, guys. Bye.